Bloody hell, I've done it again. I've uh, gone to Poundland and I basically got some tat for you lot to uh, uh, feel sorry for me. Anyway, um, yes, basically if you haven't noticed what this is all about, basically I go to Poundland, snoop around and look at things that are equally funny or even better worse or good for the pounds. I mean there is some good things you can get from 99p stores and pound stores such as air freshener refills, um, advent calendars like this. Um, you can also get good batteries for a pound. You can also get uh, even air dusters. This is only a pound and it does a really good job. And uh, you know other things like Coca Colas and stuff like that. Anyway, I've already explained that in another video. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at Halloween a CD case sort of thing, and we're also going to be looking at TVs in general. This is going to be hilarious. Anyway, first on is this pumpkin lights. Ten lights, length one point forty five meters. Now I've tried these, they're not too bad, they're LEDs, they're in the future, basically with these LED lights, as opposed to other things, but yeah, they're basically, what they've done is, they got a load of Christmas lights and thought, hey, let's put some Halloween stuff on it and make it Halloween, because we couldn't sell it so much, we decided to put it on this instead. <sighs> let's have a look, well first of all, most of the, you know, Halloween stuff comes off and they are not bad lights. I mean for a pound you can't really complain about well, a can but but the uh, plastic things here feel kind of okay. You know, fingerprint city, you know. Let's have a little look at what they like and light up. So uh let's uh, see if we're gonna knot this. Uh this is gonna be hilarious because they did this funnily. Right, I'm back. That took forever to unknot, but now I'm putting these things back on. And I think I broke one of them, but uh, hey, it's all part of Halloween, isn't it? Already, uh, I see waste. I see life wasted. And um, I think this is not going to work because I think one of the cables has broke off. So that just shows the uh, deal of quality you're dealing with here. Oh, sod it. Anyway, I'm going to put some batteries in that I got from Poundland. Let's see how it goes. Let's put some in. Uh, I, could, I can tell this is not going to work because one of the cables is not connected. Because you know what Poundland's like. But anyway, let's put some in very quickly. Nope, don't work. Ah, finally, got them going. So basically, so basically, they light up basically with a piece of Halloween on it. I might have to solder that back together actually because for some strange reason mine came broken. And one of the LEDs is broken. Actually, a couple of the LEDs are not working. So that just shows the greatness of quality you're dealing with with Poundland sometimes. Moving on. Now this is not a bad item in its own right because it says disc wallet, which means DVDs. It accepts DVDs and CDs. It doesn't accept Playstations, it will blow up. Um, for protecting discs from dust and scratches. I'm sure with this quality. But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, ah, it's together with something. Hang on, let's get this off. Um, there we are. Recording because I look like a big idiot. There we go. This says nice and not good for anything. Anyway, there you are, look. Very simple. Hmm. You can use that as a headband. <laughs> Uh, I might show you that later. Um, but yeah, basically, this is your wallet. Mine came up all mashed and broken, like usual in Poundland, because you get your seal of quality all the time. He lied. 
Now let me get a disc to show you that it doesn't blow up if you put a DVD disc in it. But yeah, as you can see, with your great quality, you can put your discs in them, basically. And as you can see, not great quality, they feel really cheap and plasticky, and there's a reason why it was a pound, I was expecting something a little bit better, but hey, it's Poundland, what do you expect? <sighs> Moving on, it looks like Poundland's not in good steps today. Um, next on the list is this, Indoor Digital Aerial, and uh, what is hilarious is what's on the back. Receives digital TV signals, stand mail, co Axe plug with 19 centimeter cable, approximate. Uh, it says here, <laughs> please note you will need a free view box or a TV with a free view built in receiver. Thanks for pointing that out. I thought I could just easily plug it into my TV and get bloody analog like you used to in the UK. <laughs> Hint. <sighs> anyway, not me moaning, let's get it out. Well, it feels a little bit more solid than the other aerial I had the other day, which was absolutely made of horrible, horrible plastic. But, yeah, as you can see, I mean, the cable might be longer. But as you can see, let's see the quality of this, shall we? Well, oh, something's good for a change from Poundland. Hooray! Yeah, you can get a lot of good stuff from Poundland. Anyway, let me set this up in, to my TV and show you it working or not. And for the lights, well, I'm going to have to uh, get a way to solder it or put a bit of sellotape because I'm cheap like that. Anyway, let's see this thing going. Many hours of screaming later and many hours of twiddling with this damn thing, I've come to a conclusion on my carpet. <laughs> Isn't this a quality video? Especially on my bed and now on my bloody my uh, carpet. Anyway, for a starter, you don't get a lot of cable with it, which annoys me. The other scene of quality, dare I say, is the cable. Look at that, that's just unacceptable. I mean, yes, I know it's a pound for, but for God's sake, at least put a bloody bigger wire on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to, like, use one of these cables, which is, um, I think it's a male to female extension. And um, I managed to uh, move it across the room. And I, do you know what? I still didn't get a bloody signal. And it's not the cable, and it's definitely not the aerial. So I definitely know that this is an okay product. A couple of problems, though. The cable is a bit, well, cheap. And it would help if they give me more cable, as uh, it wasn't long enough, because when you put it in the back of the TV, you expect it to go a little further than just on the side of your TV. So yeah, not really recommended if you have bad signal in your area for Freeview. This is not going to fix that problem. I do admit though, you can get a good signal, uh, probably in a different area than mine. Uh, I got ITV eventually on my TV, but in the end it was like dog poo, basically. But if this was on an analog signal, I really think this would be really good. So, conclusion, well, get it if you want, it's only a pound.